Hello everybody, my name is Eric. Have you ever gotten an email that seemed to have an urgent request? Oftentimes it had an invoice or some other financial related thing. I've gotten some utterly bizarre ones over the years, including an offer to buy oil rigs in the Middle East for $50,000. I don't know if any of you have gotten some weird ones. So what is the story behind these? How do they work? You'll often see that they'll have a correct extension. It'll be something like an Excel file. And these are especially common at targeting businesses because they tend to take advantage of business financial transfer systems. These are called banking trojans. A banking trojan is a piece of malware. It's a type of info stealer, usually, that will either steal your banking credentials or have it so when you sign into your banking, you think you're sending a transfer to one account, but in reality, it goes to the wrong account. Now, we've got a couple of malicious files here to test, and we're going to try them out. So now, we're going to check out our one of our samples. We've got here Formbook. This is one of the most common Excel macro malware. This is a banking trojan that is generally sent by email, and we'll take a look. It'll oftentimes it'll masquerade as an invoice or something else to make it look really legit. But note the M on the end of this file. That tells you something. This is an Excel file with a macro. Now macros were added to Microsoft Office for the sake of making automation easier, but they can also be used for less than honest things. So here we are. This video is sponsored by AnyRun, which provides a wonderful interactive online sandbox we're going to use to help analyze these things. Now, one of the great features here is you can actually choose pre-installed software, and one of the things you can get relevant to this video is Microsoft Office. We don't have to do that locally. It's all set up in the cloud and set everything else here. You can also have it automatically change the extension if it thinks the one you've set is wrong. You can choose where you want to start it. We'll start it from downloads. We can choose on duration, uh, whether we want to use any sort of network technology, and whether we want to make it private, unlisted, public, or with our team if we're a business. You can also automatically delete the report, which is especially a good idea if this is a business situation and we are actually analyzing something we think is an invoice. The data will be gone in a day for privacy reasons. So let's upload it. We got some immediate red flags for being a macro. It seems like there may be a bug in the code here. Loading yellow bar above, click enable. Because if you downloaded this from an email, it would have something called the mark of the web that would that would potentially indicate there was a problem. Now, they were smart enough to password protect the macro. Not that that provides any meaningful security. And of course, because the C2 server is dead, we don't actually see a threat detection. But we did get an error. And it does automatically detect that anything with a macro on open is quite risky. Now let's run this again with MITM proxy out of curiosity, because we see this domain here, mbsngradninja.com, uh, that we're not quite sure about. So we'll go here, enable MITM proxy, and get to work. And there we go. So of course it does throw an error because the C2 is down, but what we can see is an attempt at dropping a file from this site, which seems to have been changed so that this no longer operates as intended, but we can get a pretty good idea. So what did this Excel file do? It was a dropper. It tries to get you to disable your security so that it'll work. And what would have happened here is the exe would have executed. Because while they have encrypted the exe so that we can't just look at uh, all of the code, uh, they, they did make one kind of fatal mistake. Download exe file and execute silent is not a name that sounds legitimate. So let's try some more files. Another potentially interesting macro file. Uh, this one is fresh off the presses. So let's see what it does when it opens. And this is a fake compatibility mode. No, this is not how compatibility mode works. So we see industry subsector and we see something that clearly looks like it's uh, targeted at our business. This very much, I got companies as benchmark metric and look what just spawned in the background. Oh no, 100% malicious running PowerShell in an invisible window. So Excel ran and it spawned this PowerShell, which is continuing to run extremely obfuscated base64 encoded PowerShell. 
Nothing good starts with Base64 encoded PowerShell, let me tell you. So let's take a look. And anyone actually has a really cool feature called Script Tracer that's going to help us track this down. So we got some variables here, and then we run this next layer, which we can trace out separately. It actually runs another PowerShell. That runs this CSC, uh, which seems to be doing something else. Yeah, so there's a PowerShell that is run by a PowerShell, which then runs another PowerShell. If that wasn't suspicious enough. This gets all of our computer's information. This is mostly an anti-analysis thing, but unlucky for them, it wouldn't even matter if they caught us at this point, because they, they're done. Like, we, we know this is malicious. All sorts of different stuff going through. And what this will probably do is ultimately load a final payload. Yeah, we got suspicious that. And yeah, it loads a C sharp DLL. Which should just not. There, there, there are theoretically valid reasons for that functionality to exist. But no, no, seriously. So we got here. This is an incredibly clever uh, red herring where you put up this error message so that someone might be fooled into thinking, okay. Uh, maybe, j just like the stealer I showed you the other day, that this is a common trick, but luckily we're smart enough uh, not to fall for this, because we uploaded it onto our sandbox and just did some basic analysis we now know. So, if this looks like something you or your company would be interested in, here's what you gotta know. In the description of this video, I'll have a sign-up link you can use uh, to get started. Now, you can get started for free with your business email by going to that link and filling out your details. After you do that, you'll have the option of signing up for a paid plan as well where you can get additional features. You can get different operating system support, you can get the ability to run longer requests, uh, export more samples per minute, and something that is really great, especially if you wanted to automate something like this. So every Excel file that's coming into your organization, uh, you can get the API and just send that straight up, get a verdict, block all those attachments out, make your security really easy. So that is going to be all for the, me for now. Please do leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more cybersecurity content. And do check out any run if a sandbox looks like something you'd be interested in. Bye.